football match with some of our own footballers by rulers. I hope you guys enjoy it. I'm Lake Kukula, I'm one of the organizers of the London Summer Program. Okay, the idea came from uh, one day I was thinking about a way where we can get a lot of players together. One of my colleagues, Manson Mabai, also had that same idea. Um, in a conversation, we basically exchanged ideas and manifested um, into the Summer Program, which is something that we're trying to put together and trying to put together a good product where all players at all levels can come together and compete, such as the name London Summer Program. Um, I guess it started from I, um, the scrimmages that I, I've had during the summer, it started creating a lot of, a lot of buzz whereby good, high quality players got a place to run. And it, um, fortunately for me, they became very thirsty and they asked, you know, we need some more stuff like this throughout the summer. So I thought to myself, um, you know what would be a great idea, just like back in the day. Okay, what comes to mind when you hear the word hard work? Man, when, when I heard the word hard work, I just think the two words. Brixton, like, that's where I came from, the school of hard knocks. So when I think of hard work, I just think of a place where you go to work on your game and all you do is actually just play hard. Regardless of what happens, you just play right through the whistle. Okay. Uh, have you ever thought of... Where have you played in the world? Have you played... You, I think you said... Did you, have you ever played basketball in America? Or? Okay, um, fortunately, I went to prep school in um, Connecticut. From there, I went to um, university in uh, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. So. I played there and also had trials in other places such as Spain, Italy, um, places in Europe anyway, so yeah. That's great, that's great. Um, have you ever, what stops you, okay, I'm just going to ramble on until I get the question. Uh, have you ever thought about quitting about basketball and if so, what has prevented you from quitting and keep, because like you've been playing the game, you've been playing the game for some time now and I'm sure there's been certain times when you thought to yourself, there's nowhere to play in the summer, there's not that many opportunity for UK players. What keeps you, Lake and Popula, the point guard, going and keep working hard and striving to, to excel in your game? I can only say one thing, like basketball, uh, I believe basketball, I believe basketball, period. Like, for me to say quit, it just means for me to give up 15 years of my, of my life that I've actually played to basketball. Like, for me to say quit, my character, basketball is a major part of my character. So it's just like me waking up, I think basketball. Me going to sleep, I think basketball. So quitting, I have had those days where I thought I, can, I should quit because there's nowhere to play or what am I doing this for. But at the end of the day, if you want to get, if I want to get better, my character says to me, hard work for me to um, get better. I gotta work hard mentally and just keep going. What advice would you give for any youngster or young people within London? who want to get involved in basketball and what, what kind of advice would you give them in order because you've been quite successful in your career what kind of things could you just like you know if you was going to speak to one like young person you're going to, and they was, they was worried that they weren't going to make it in basketball what, what could you say positively to affect them? In positively a, my only thing, I, I have a few things I want to say one thing I would like to say is don't wait for no one like the, you're right there there's kids playing Nintendo there's kids playing um, 360 don't wait for no one. Don't join that boat. Join your own boat. Follow your good quality players, good quality run. You know, just a good fresh product whereby it's just positive. So the summer program just sprung to mind. I mean, there's nothing better than having um, players go to play, compete for something as opposed to just going to a scrimmage where, yeah, they win five games that night and they go home. A good summer, pro uh, summer program, you go, you know you're playing for something, you play five games, go to the playoffs, get the trophy, then you're going to have bragging rights. What, what, what better way to celebrate the end of the summer for good, for really good um, thing in the program? And do you think with having the program, people will stay in, will be more focused to stay in shape. All right, so what do you do to stay in shape over the summer? Because you seem like someone who's like in good shape. Pause. <laughs> As you can see, I'm wearing my t-shirt. Um, to be honest, to stay in shape, I maintain myself by going to the gym. I maintain myself by whenever I can get into a scrimmage, whenever I can go to a, um, a court and just get a few shots. Just mentally, stay mentally and physically, just trying to stay in shape. All right, great. Um... What do you think, what do you think about having a run where all players across London can meet? And I mean like players that you might have played against when you was under 16, under 19, players you played against in professional teams, players you played in open gym, to get them all under one roof. 
competing in the Battle of London for the London Pro Am? I think that's a great idea because there's too many runs right now that you get, you see little kids, which isn't a bad thing because obviously development is good, but you see too many runs with you know different diverse or different levels of play. You need a you need a place where you can challenge yourself, and I think having a having a place where you can go to actually not have a run but to have a game to see to get yourself ready for next season or wherever you're going to play. And it's very different from a scrimmage. Having a run, knowing that you're playing for something towards the end of the summer, I think that's a, like, a great idea. It's gone back to the days of Hosanna, Rough and Ready, even Midnight Man who started up with um, some polling. So that brings a lot of players together. And it, it, it's like a, it cooks, and so many people also want to get involved. You know? Great, great. So do you think um, a run like this will bring London ballers closer together? I think this run has a great potential to bring all different types of London ballers together. The guys that play in college, the guys that play professionally, the guys that play national league, or even the kids that play junior. Because we're not, um, we're not just trying to be, you know, segregate guys together. We're just trying to bring every player um, from different um, leagues just to come together to try to get that one. Great. No one's in. They're not in the shop. They're not in the shop. I think we um, was some program. It's a very good idea because going into the season, a lot, a lot of players don't actually get to play in that kind of game environment so the summer pro, pro, pro program kind of helps them and gets them in a shape just so they know what to expect or what they try what they put together what they worked on in the summer it will help them actually practice that going into the summer program the one thing i'm happy about is just the reception i've been getting from a lot of players not just the new players but so just the old players but also the new players and it's going to be a good idea just to get a, a vast majority of players just to come together and just make sure they can compete in something that, you know, it can, it can last for a long time. Okay, because as you know, we've had, other, we've had other tournaments in the past and this tournament is going to be something very similar, but trying to make sure it builds on every year. So hopefully we can um, get together and make sure it's a last one. Cool. Hey, cool I want the whole match with some program. I run for ballers by ballers. I hope you guys enjoy it. Point guard, um, six foot, I'm doing uh, seven pounds. Okay, um, when did you start playing basketball? Oh, okay, um, I started playing at the age of 14. My first national team was um, the Palace, I went to Lucian, and then unfortunately Jimmy found me. He played there for four years. Who's Jimmy? Jimmy Rogers um, found me at Brixton. I, mean, I played at Brixton for four years. Um, about 14, 14, 15 years now, my first national team was the Palace. I went to um, Lush, I went to, from Crystal Palace. I went to Lucian. After that, I went to Brixton. That's when Jimmy picked me up. Um, I was at Brixton for four, four good years. That's where I actually matured my, well, tried to control my game. After that, I was fortunate to go to Maryland scholarship. Who did you play with at Brixton? Oh, at Brixton, um, I was fortunate enough to play in the likes of um, Lord Dan, um, Marvin Addy, Marvin Tonight. Jaffa Larkai, um, Rashid Quadri, um, I think a few names. Is Sean Gray playing your team? Sean Gray, um, Marvin Ambrose, um, a lot of names came out of this program, you know. And are some of these players playing in this, this program this year? Um, right now, I know a few of the players will be playing in the program, such as Marvin Addy, Sean Gray, um, Matthew, Matthew Bryan is actually on the team. Um, I know that Justin Robinson is on the team, Marcus Nice going to be playing. Um, depending on their schedule and when they can get here, I know that I've been told they're going to be able to play in this program, so I know it's going to be very uh, competitive. Basically, I'm just trying to get the program to get a good workout because I know in London, unfortunately, it's, truth be told, the, the kind of quality of runs have gone down. A lot of players have been crying out for good runs, so we're trying to go back to the old days when the likes of all down and rough and ready. Just try to bring something like that for the players, so the players can just get involved and just actually have a a competition tournament again and that's what I'm looking forward to competing against the competition. Run by ballers for ballers. Alright cool. Now we go back to the interview so that we've got 